Hello and welcome back to The Note, back today after a day's hiatus. Everything at the moment revolves around the strength of the US dollar, boosted today by remarks from the chairman of the St. Louis Fed, James Bullard, that in his opinion uh, interest rates are already actually behind schedule, that uh, we are late for a first rate rise. That obviously strengthened the dollar against the euro and against virtually everybody else. On the trade weight index kept by the ICE exchange, which is the one that uh, traders tend to watch most closely, it very nearly got to 100 today. That was would have been for the first time since just before the invasion of Iraq back in 2003. Quite an important milestone approaching there. Now, the strength of the dollar can rather significantly uh, alter perceptions. First of all, I'd like to point out that Mr. Bullard managed to uh, push the stock market up after its swoon back in October by his comment that QE might actually carry on for a little longer. That was a very dovish comment which helped the market even though of course the Fed did indeed discontinue QE shortly afterwards. Not necessarily that wise therefore to put too much weight on his hawkish comments that he's made now. Also we need to look very carefully at the stock market. If we, take, if we watch this chart, which shows you uh, how the FTSE Euro First 300 index of European stocks has done compared to the S&P 500 in local currency terms, you can see this feeds the narrative that QE from the ECB is boosting European stocks while uh, the uh, US index is being dragged down by the strong dollar. However, if we now look at them both in dollar terms, you can see that the uh, strength or apparent strength of European stocks is almost entirely a currency effect. In fact, in dollar terms, uh, the Euro first have a slightly worse day than the S&P did today. Everything is being swamped by the strength of the dollar at the moment, and that can sometimes skew perceptions.